Okay, class, good afternoon. Our topic for today is Traffic Management and Accident Investigation Part 1 Lecture. So, let's begin to define what is traffic. Traffic is the movement of people, goods, and vehicles. So, it means that if the people are moved from one place to another or goods or any type of vehicle, it is called traffic. Important terms to remember. So, what is trafico? It, in Greek Roman, this term means movement of people through the use of domesticated horse drone chariots. So, trafico means is the use of domesticated horse drone chariots by people and their movement is called this term trafico. Trafiga, used by the Greek which describes as traffic as a system so so it means that by the in the ancient greeks uh, they use this word as traffic as traffic as a system so trafalgar square it is a hub center of commerce and culture in the heart of london so this is the trafalgar square in london as you can see there are people uh, making commerce or any trade or anything doing around this square important terms to remember so another is commercium so commercium it is a latin latin term which refers to the movement and control of goods in transit from unwheel axle to horseless carriage so there is no use of wheeled chariots or horse Transportation, it refers to the movement or conveying of person and goods from one location to another. So, it means trans, it means across, porter, it means to carry. Another term to remember is nomad. So, a nomad in Greek refers to pastoralist, groups that migrate in an established pattern to find pasture lands for their domestic livestock. So what what is pasture class? So it is a land covered with grass and other low plants suitable for gazing animals, especially cattle or sheep. So this illustration shows a nomad. Two types of nomads. So there are two types. So number one is foraging populations. It refers to those people who wander in search of their food so they are the people who wander in search of their food it is estimated that 99 percent of all humanity lives in this way in ancient uh, times so another is pastoral nomad those who move their families belongings and herds of cattle camel sheep or goats through an annual cycle of pasture so on the other hand the, these pastoral nomads are People in groups with belongings and herds, cattle and camels, which they move from place to place to find a good pasture land, whose ability is determined by the alteration of hot and cold or wet and dry season. So, early modes of transportation. First, we will discuss about the manpower. So, early man who had no domesticated animals carry their own burden. So, remember that there is no need of domesticated animals in this, in this early early man. We call some uh, letter A is example is carrying pool. So, also called as a shoulder pool or a milkmaid's yoke. It is a yoke of wood or bamboo used by people to carry wood. This illustration is some example of a carrying pole. So, black back load and thumb line. So, a single form by a strap slung over the forehead or chest and used to, for carrying or helping to support a pack on the back or in howling loads. As you can see uh, in the station given. Sledge on rollers. So, it is an any freight or passengers carrying device that is dragged or pushed without the aid of wheels. 
So, in 3500 BC, wheeled chart or sledge and roller. Combination of the roller and the sledge. As the sledge moved forward over the first roller, a second roller was placed under the front end to carry the load when it moved off the first roller. Sledge on runners. It is a vehicle mounted on runners drawn by work animals such as horses or dogs and used for transporti transporting loads across ice, snow, and rough grounds. Travois, a historical frame structure that is used by the indigenous peoples, notably by the plains aboriginals of North America, to drag loads over the land. So this illustration shows a travois. So, number second early modes of transportation is uh, uh, known to be animal power so this is where the domesticated animals were used to carry loads number letter a is ox originally cattle which used to carry loads in Meso mesopotamia so second is reindeer first domesticated in siberia in the beginning of christian era where the, they are they carry the sledge Dog, the first domesticated animals used to carry loads. First domesticated animals. Donkey, first domesticated in the Middle East, where they are used to, as caravan to carry goods without, within the Southeast Asia and Egypt. Lemma, it is first domesticated in South America, camelid, widely used as a meat and a pack animal by Andean cultures since the pre-Columbian area. These are these are also called as tempered animals. So elephant in Thailand, elephants are used to trek through the dense forest around the cities. A long time ago, elephants were also used to transport goods along the Silk Road. So this illustration is a sample of an elephant carrying loads. This type of animal also carry heavy loads. Horse, uh, it is domesticated in Europe and they are used by chariots. As you can see, it is a prehistoric Egyptian king. Uh, the illustration with these horses drawn by chariots. Another one is camel. So in the prehistory, camels have been used as transportation transportation for people undertaking long and grueling journeys through the arid Sahara Desert. So during the 19th century BC, they began to be used for warfare by carrying soldiers and transportation heavy loads. The concept of these camels being used for transportation and warfare is known as camel cavalry. So uh, as you can see that the, the back of the camel has uh, its store water. So it it is called the kings of the desert because it can absorb heat and endure the hotness of the sun. Yak. These are animals used in Tibetan and also in cold areas. The, t -t the Tibetan yaks are not only animals providing them help in the agriculture view but also as loads carrying animals. They are extremely used for carrying heavy loads and luggage during the trekking in the Tibet. That's all for our lesson today class uh, and we will continue next week for another lesson of early modes of transportation. Thank you and God bless.